Todd, and the fact that Trump's plane is still here at PBI means he's most likely at Mar-a-Lago right now. He has no campaign stops scheduled this weekend. So the former president and 2024 presidential candidate, if he were to leave in this plane from PBI, he likely would be heading to New York to be turning himself into authorities, which is expected to happen on Tuesday. Now, right now, former Department of Justice Criminal Division Senior Trial Attorney Richard Serafini says that the exact charges will not be announced until that indictment is unsealed, and that's expected to happen during Trump's arraignment next week. While the indictment itself will outline all the specific charges against Trump, Serafini says he will not be able to examine the strength of the district attorney's case until Serafini says he can see the evidence during discovery. However, Serafini says there are so many variables that there's no telling exactly how long it'll take to start seeing the evidence in this case. Serafini says Trump will likely be booked, fingerprinted, and get his mugshot taken next week in the DA's squad room before his arraignment, arraignment and all of the Secret Service are going to be present during that process. I don't think you'll, there's any, any likelihood at all that he would be uh, intermingled with other uh, prisoners who are waiting arraignment or anything like like that, I think it'll be from the DA's office um, to the court for the uh, for the arraignment. Now, Serafini also says it's likely that Trump will not have to wear handcuffs. He'll likely be released on his own recognizance after his arraignment. Serafini says, as of now, it looks like this criminal case could take years, and he says it's also possible the judge could decide to delay the case at some point due to the 2024 presidential election. So we'll have to wait and see. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.